Welcome to the Talk Condo Release Radar, where every week we go through all the latest new condo projects to help you save thousands by getting in first. And right now, we're really getting into launch season. Um, it's the first weekend, uh, first couple of days after Easter weekend, yeah. and already we've got a couple of great new launches with a lot in the pipeline. So we're going we're gonna to break down a couple of the major ones. The first mm -hmm. one is playground condominiums at uh, King and Strawn in the King yeah, West neighborhood. Yeah. So last week we did a full deep dive and we talked about the top five reasons that we're really excited about this project. Mm -hmm. um, the five top reasons, just going through them very quickly. Sure. Number, uh, number one was location. Yeah. Uh, number two was the master plan community and mm -hmm. the importance of investing in, in a master plan. Uh, number two, uh, three was the growth of the tech sector. Uh, number four was the developer, Fernbrook and Citizen. And number five was the price. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to, the first thing we want to touch on here is the price of the right. project because it actually came in Lower. better. Yeah lower than we expected so yeah. mike give us a quick rundown sure it's always nice when it happens um 891 a square foot we had predicted somewhere between 9 to 950. yeah um there are some units in that range just because of you know floor premiums like that but on average we're looking at under 900 per square foot we calculated as 891 per square foot which is incredible um this is really really well priced um, just to give you an example, resale in the area, we're seeing some units sell for over $1,000 per square foot. Yeah, we were looking at some resale in the area, and when yeah. we, even when we were saying in the nine to 950 mm -hmm. price per square foot, thought this, was, was, this was a great buy. Yeah, for sure. Um, we looked at some of the other new condos in the area. We mm -hmm. see, we're seeing sales over $1,000 a foot in this area now for the new product with, that will be comparable to this. Yes, for sure. Um, so being under $900 a foot on average is, is really phenomenal and uh, we really got to emphasize that. Yeah, that's, that's huge. And at the same time, um, this project's only two years away, which is pretty rare. Usually something of this size and scale, you're looking at four years. So you still have time to, in, um, still have time to build up appreciation as an investor, but yeah. if you're an end user, you're getting in sooner yeah. than, you, than you normally would. So it works well for, for both parties here. So price definitely is like the number one thing that we're really excited to hear about. And it's going to be a blowout when it happens because sure. you're not seeing these prices anymore. So this is available now. Yes. Uh, if, you, if you've if you got the uh, email that you received, mm -hmm. you will have direct links to, to get the floor plans, yep. to get the pricing. Um, and demand is already really, really strong. Yeah. So we're putting this out uh, today's Tuesday, um, April 3rd. April 3rd, but the April email 3rd on today. the 3rd. Yeah. So um, a couple of things on Playground. You mentioned it's a t quicker turnaround time yep. um, because of because what's happening here, this is the second phase. Uh, the first phase was sold in 2013. Mm -hmm. um, they're basically building both together. Yes. So the, this one is a little bit more accelerated. Um, so you are getting that quicker turnaround time. Mm -hmm. um, we mentioned also the location. So uh, again, this, this is a, uh, in a great spot. So give us a quick rundown of where, where this building is for anybody who may not have seen the last video. Sure. So um, I mean, the best way to describe it is it's sort of in between three different neighborhoods. I guess your major intersection would be King and Strawn. Um, exact location would be Ordnance and Strawn if you want to look that up. Um, but it's basically in between uh, Liberty Village to the west, King West um, to the north, really north, and then Fort York to the south. So it's just in between these three um, neighborhoods. So it's really, really well positioned in between all three. But again, major intersection would be probably King and Strawn if you wanted to sort of figure out where, where it is in your head. Perfect. Um, now that we've got the project, we've got all the details, yeah. um, some project specifics. Yeah, so building features, we didn't really touch on a huge amount in the, in the sort of specialized playground video. Um, it's always a lot easier to do so once you have the actual yeah. specifics, but uh, it's 35 stories. 432 units, you're going to have nine foot ceiling. Some are going to have nine and a half on some floors, some 10 on some Which floors. Is, I, I want to emphasize yeah. that because we are seeing a lot of developers in order to, to save money mm -hmm. are doing eight foot ceilings, are doing eight and a half foot yeah. ceilings. So it's really great to see these nine foot, nine and a half, yeah. 10 foot ceilings. And there's a massive difference between eight yeah. foot ceilings and nine foot ceilings. Huge. You can't describe it unless you've seen it, um, but it's a huge difference. And then 10 foot ceilings on top of that are are well they're more rare depends yeah. on the floor that you're on but they are available if you're looking for something like that because i know for myself i've lived in a place with 10 foot ceilings yeah. 12 foot ceilings and it just it makes you feel place. yeah it makes it feel 600 square feet feel like 800 square feet it's, it makes a huge difference um and then finishes throughout are everything you'd expect you know granite countertops and high like a high grade engineered laminate throughout um high high-end stainless steel or sorry high-tech stainless steel appliances um yeah, everything that you would you would expect from condo projects nowadays, you're not having to worry about 
you know, upgrading once you get to, uh, des des to yeah. design selection. So um, the, I mean, it, the uh, finishes here are really nice. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, one of the other things that really stood out to us were the views. We got, yeah. we got a hand on, actually got, we knew the views were going to be great, but yeah. when you actually see them, we got some view yeah. photography from the builders. Um, the views all the way around are amazing, but mm -hmm. give us a quick rundown of the views. Sure. Um, so just as a, sorry to jump yeah, in yeah. again, Mike, um, if you're listening to this on the podcast, right. Um, uh, obviously you can't see the views, but uh, check out the show notes. Uh, there will be images to, the, to, 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 to all the views and all the floor plans that we're eventually going to be talking about. Yeah, so the east view is probably the standout view here. Um, you're getting a skyline <coughs> city, uh, city view. So east view really stands out. You have the park right yeah. in front of you, the four acre park um, that we haven't actually mentioned, but again, is in the playground video. So half of this project land is going to be dedicated to park um, yeah. area. So you have that in front of you along with uh, a city view. So, so the, city, the great thing about the park is that yeah. you've got that protection. Yes. Exactly. So anything that will get built is going to be built further along. Exactly. Further along. So you're going to have that, that, that gap there already. That buffer, yeah. But I mean, it's, it's a fantastic view on the east side. And then the east is also the CN Tower. That's, yes. your, that's your postcard Toronto, exactly. Toronto view. Yeah, what every, the view that everybody, everybody wants. So that's there on the east side. Um, the south side has lake views. Yeah. Um, but it's not just the south that has lake views here. It's actually the west as well. Yeah. Um, so the West has every view here is pretty clean. Um, you know, it, it's, you're not into a totally, com, you know, really packed downtown core area, but um, you're still close to everything while getting the view. So it's a little bit, again, of best of both worlds there. On the West side, you know, Humber Bay wraps yeah. around, right? So you're going to have the lake view on the West side. And then on the North side, you're going to be getting King West, Queen West. Yeah. But the views are really nice here. Check them out. Um, I love having the the, rent, the, yeah, the views the view. from the from the builder because it it makes a really big difference trying to get an idea of what everything's going to look like. Yeah, they're great here. Perfect. Um, next, we want to talk about the floor plans. Mm -hmm. Again, when we're doing pre videos, pre launch videos, um, we're always going based on on we don't have this information in front of us. Yeah. Now that we've actually got them, we, we're able to pick some floor plans mm -hmm. out that we really like. Um, so go through some of the some yeah. of the ones that you picked out. Yeah, for sure. So. Um, I would say I'll try to take one sort of from each to kind of give people an idea of what they're looking for. First, I'll start with a one bedroom model D, uh, 551 square feet. Um, this is going to be having a west view. Um, it's just something where it has that really standard, um, and standard is good in this sense where you have you know square finishes or sorry. Um, Square, square lines, square lines nice sorry, lines. nice square lines so that everything fits well in terms of furniture. Um, you have large bedrooms, you have a really large closet. Everything just makes sense in where everything is, is ordered here. Yep. And then you have obviously a nice west view that has lake views as well. And so we were talking about prices here, model D, you know, we're looking at, you know, 900 ish. 900 a square foot or so. So we're looking at mid fours for this. Mid fours, and again, that's a really yeah. great price point uh, yeah. in the downtown in the downtown area, which, mm -hmm. which we're just not seeing very often. Um, if we're going to go on to, so I picked out three in, in particular. Let me just uh, pull them all up here. So the first one was a one bed plus den model D, as I said. The second would be model A. And this is kind of a, a standout one for me as well. This is a south view, two bedroom, 710 square feet. Again really uh, square lines. Everything makes sense in terms of where it is. When you come in, you have your bathroom on the right, open concept kitchen into your living room, nice big balcony. Each bedroom has windows as well, yep. right? We love this kind of floor plan. It's yeah. a wide, shallow, so it's a shallow unit, which means there's a lot of light coming in. Mm -hmm. um, this is also a split two bedroom, so um, yeah. buyers like to see the bedrooms not connected by a wall, the yeah. one on each side. It's two washrooms For sure. uh, with, the, with the living space in the middle. So in terms of the floor plan that design that we always love to see, this mm -hmm. one checks all the boxes. Yeah, big, big, big closet in the master, en suite. It has everything that you need. And again, again, self view is yep. going to be really, really nice here. And the last one I've got is actually model K. Um, this is going to be your standout east city skyline view. So prime this view unit. Prime view unit. For us, you've got water view people and you've got city view people. Yeah, for sure. So some people love city view. Some people love uh, lake view. Personally, for me, I love the city view. Yeah. I just I, like, I like the architecture. I like I like seeing. I like the life of it. Um, 
this one in particular, um, you have a bigger kitchen here, bigger L kitchen. Um, again, you've got two separate balconies here, so you're gonna get um, one off of the one off of the bedroom, one off of the living room, and then a second one off the, off of the master bedroom. Again, big en suite. Um, this one's gonna be more of an angled one, so you'd be a little bit more creative with your with your furniture. Um, you know what? These kind of look a little bit harder to picture on a floor plan, but when you're actually in the space, it's a lot easier to sort of figure out where things are gonna go. Um, so I don't want people to be turned off by sort of those those angles, but here you can't be the view in terms of, of this project. And this is also 868 square feet. Great size. So it's a two bedroom plus 10. So we're looking at more proper two bedroom plus 10 sizes. Again, a 900-ish a square foot, you're gonna be looking in sort of like the mid, Seven. mid sevens or so. Yep. So value here is amazing. Perfect. Yeah. So we're really excited about Playground. So Playground is now available. Yes. Um, a couple of other key things that we wanna highlight is that we are gonna be hosting an event mm -hmm. uh, for, for you to come out, review the information, submit your uh, reservation request in person. Mm -hmm. um, on the email that you received, you would have also received the floor plans and prices, which you can download um, and submit your reservation form online. Yeah. So you've got a lot of options. Yeah, if you can't make it to the event, I want people to know, like you, you can just submit a worksheet. Yeah. You, can, you can call us to discuss it. Um, there's lots of options. We, we do the event for people to, um, to come out, to speak to us in person, to get a better idea. But if you just can't make it, yeah. there are other opportunities available for you to, to secure a unit. For sure. So don't hesitate on that. Um, so again, just to stick on the timeline, so Wednesday, um, uh, res the signings will be taking place this weekend. Yes. Um, so there is, some, there is a tight buffer here, and that's why we do the pre-launch videos. Yep. That's why we've been leading up to this project for a mm -hmm. long time. So um, if you're interested in Playground, please reach out. Um, so we're going to switch to another project, which caught us a little bit by surprise. Yeah. Um, so the, the condo project is called Central Condos mm -hmm. by Con uh, Concord ADEX. Yes. Um, we weren't actually expecting this one until later in the month. Uh, this one looks like they got everything together and this morning we got an email saying um, the project is available. Yep. Um, so central condos, because give us a quick rundown of um, where this project is uh, and give us a quick overview of, of, of what's going on. Sure, so location is you know entertainment district um, on Widmer Street between Adelaide and Richmond. So you're gonna have projects like uh, Bond just nearby. Yep. Peter Condos, Tableau, so it's right in the heart of that entertainment district. Um, as you said, developer is Concord. Yep. Um, they did City Place, so yep. one of the largest redevelopments in, in, in all of Toronto. I think everybody knows that by name now, but if you don't, sort of that Spadina and Front area. They um, developed all of that. Yeah, everything that you see there is by them. Um, they also did Park Place. Um, which is in North York, another massive redevelopment yep. there, maybe better known as sort of Seasons Condos, so yep. which, which is selling right now. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what we got this morning. We also got some price points. Yep. Yep, so price points on that one were, um, so we're expecting this one to be in and around $1,100 per square foot yep. plus. Yep. Um, studios start from the low 400s, mm -hmm. one bedrooms from the low 500s, mm -hmm. uh, one in dens from mid sixes, yep. and then two bedrooms from seven plus. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's about what we would expect from, from Entertainment District now. We've been yeah. talking about prices a lot in terms of where things are in the city. So it's, this is core. Like yeah. if you're an investor and you've been waiting for an Entertainment District project, this one has, this is a spring surprise for you. It's yeah. come a little bit sooner, not having to wait for it. So I would um, be, I'd be contacting us if you've been waiting. Cause I know I talk to people all the time and, um, you know, if they, if for whatever reason, they can't get into another project, they just delayed too much. You know, yeah. they, they, they didn't follow the timelines. They just said, contact us as soon as you have an entertainment district project. So as soon as we're done, I can be getting yeah. on the phone with people right away. Um, and just to jump back on the building, just for a little bit more information yeah. for people, 52 stories, um, looking at about probably 500 units, really tight floor plate, only 10 units yeah. per floor. So bigger units. Um, you know, a lot, a lot of people like just having a small amount of people on the floor. So, um, this is again, one that surprises, but yeah, we're, we're happy it's here. It's, yeah, it's, a, sure. it's a good surprise. Good spring surprise. For sure. And again, in the email that, that you received, um, if you are on the, on our email list, mm -hmm. uh, you would have received a link to download the floor plans yep. and prices and, uh, you can submit a reservation for Brightwood. So that, uh, covers the two that are active. Mm -hmm. Um, we're going to switch quickly to, uh, the ones that are coming soon. And, and what I want to emphasize here is that 
just like central condos, which uh, it came in a little bit sooner, yeah. um, we are now in launch season. Yeah, and we don't know, sometimes we don't know exact dates. They, they, they can sometimes just come up, but we're always going to do our best to make sure people are aware of what's coming. So yeah. watching these every week will give you a better idea. And then when they do come, you're ready to act. So we For have sure. some that have exact dates and some that are coming very, very soon. So you'll be hearing a lot from us this April for sure. For sure. So the, the first one that we have an exact date on is mm -hmm. 9th of May. Yes. Um, this is up in Stouffville. Um, again, we did, a, we did a top five reasons to get excited about this mm -hmm. project. So give us a quick rundown on when to expect 9th of May uh, and just, just 15 seconds on, on what to expect then. Yeah, sure. So timelines will be launched will be April 12th. Yes, so a week tomorrow. A week tomorrow. So that information is going to be coming out a week tomorrow. Um, we are going to be sending out information to people that are interested in the project to just sort of, again, in case you missed this, ramp up to yeah. the project. Um, event is going to be happening the following Saturday. So, so I guess that's 14th. April 14th. Yeah. Right. So anybody that's interested in 9th and Main, that is coming next week. Yes. Um, the next one is, and again, these ones are ones that we don't have specific timeframes mm -hmm. for, uh, but having been in dialogue with the builders and the, and the sales teams, uh, we're told to expect these very, very soon. Uh, just depends on how quickly they can finalize yeah. the floor plans and, and get everything out there. So mm -hmm. the first one is Garden District Condos. Uh, again, core downtown. We've been, we've been talking about this one now for, for the last three or four weeks, yeah. uh, but we're now getting really close to the, to yes. the launch. Um, this one, again, uh, downtown core. Uh, we're expecting good mm -hmm. things from this one. Yeah, mutual and shooter, uh, po totally revamped area, five minutes from Ryerson University, five minutes from um, the Eden Center, yep. TTC. So this is another super core project. And again, don't let it sneak up on you. This is going to be coming really, really soon. For sure. Uh, switching gears now is another one downtown. Again, we're expecting it real soon, probably in the next week or two, is mm -hmm. Lakeside, yes. uh, the park suites. Um, so again, Lakeside, is it, this is the third release of, of the first tower, mm -hmm. um, the first phase, which is going to be very similar to this because they're both lower floor suites, yep. sold out in a day. Yep. So we're expecting the same kind of demand, same kind of product, uh, investor friendly. Mm -hmm. um, so Lakeside, again, one of our favorite projects. We've talked about this in, in, in a number of videos yep. um, and anybody who's registered will be getting notified on that one as well. Uh, another one that we want to talk about is Uvo, yes, a boutique condo up in uh, Young and Eglinton. Mm -hmm. So give us a quick, quick 10, 15 seconds on Uvo. And again, we did a, a full video, yeah. 20 minute video. Yeah. So anybody looking for a boutique condo, 67 units only. I think it's 11, 11 yeah. stories. So um, this is going to be lar you know, larger units, um, high walkability score in that sort of, you know, again, close to Young and Eglinton area. If you're looking for a more high-end boutique, this is the project for you. Perfect. Um, finally, we're going to touch on M2M condominiums yep. uh, up at Young and Finch, uh, the former Newton Brook Plaza. Mm -hmm. And again, uh, being in dialogue with the, with the developers and the sales teams, these guys are ramping up now. Yeah. And this one is coming very, very soon. We don't have a specific date, mm -hmm. um, but there's been a lot of interest in this project from the, uh, from the local community. Um, there's a huge redevelopment. So give us a quick, again, yeah. 10, 15 seconds on what to expect. I guess the biggest thing would be closest, close to Finch Station yeah. um, on Young Corridor. They're going to be selling the first two towers here connected by, I believe it's uh, eight story yeah. podium. Eight stories. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for Young Corridor, North, uh, just North Toronto there, Young and Finch area, again, close to TTC. Um, two stories coming out very, very soon. Massive redevelopment. We always talk about master plan communities. Yep. This is the first two towers of a future huge master plan community. So you want to get into the first phase of it because subsequent phases are going to become sure. more expensive. And that's where, as an investor, you make a lot of your money in those first, first phase projects. Perfect. Yeah. And as always, we are going to be doing top five reasons to get mm -hmm. excited on each one of these um, as soon as we get more details on them. So stay tuned yep. um, for playground and central condominiums. Please feel free to get in touch with us very soon. We do expect these projects to sell very, very quickly. Uh, but for now, that's everything for this week.